Hey everybody, Danny Mod here. Thanks for joining us again. This week, I want to teach you how to stop hitting the ground behind the golf ball and basically get you striking your irons far more consistently. You know the flight that soars up in the air and goes a decent distance. You've done it many times before, but you're just not doing it consistently enough. This is what we're going to cover in this week's training. And you know what? It is a perfect day because it's bleak, it's cold, it's wet. If you start striking the ground behind the golf ball on a day like this, you're going to know about it. You're going to lose a considerable amount of distance and accuracy. So that is what we're going to cover. Before we do, if you're new to the channel and this is one of your first videos, consider subscribing. I release content like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. So where do you get started in terms of how do you strike that golf ball? The first thing, for those of you who are uncertain, what is a good strike and what we're trying to achieve? Well, a great ball strike is where the club comes into the golf ball it catches the golf ball first, then it catches the ground. We don't want to catch the ground at all be before the ball because that would lead to a fat shot and poor and a loss of power and a loss of um, accuracy. So we need to catch the ball turf. What's required to do that is we need the club to be descending on the golf ball. So if you look at here, the hands want to be naturally slightly ahead of the club face. The club comes into, into the golf ball here. It hits the ball on the way down. So it's missing the ground completely on the way down and catches the ground after the golf ball. So this can be confusing for some people who are hitting the ball very low because it's counterintuitive. If you're hitting the ball very low on the ground, sometimes people are trying to then lift the ball up in the air to try and get more elevation. That is one aspect that catches, helps you catch the ground behind the golf ball because you're almost scooping it. So that's a loss of power and a loss of contact as well. So remember, it's counterintuitive, but the ball goes up in the air because we actually swing down. Great to understand that, but how do we go about teaching that? How do you go about educating the body? The key thing with this, for me, is about learning a drill, having some form of exercise, some form of drill that gives you, you gives your body the exact feel. Now, if you're trying to do big full swings and learn how to strike it, it can be very complex and very difficult to do. So what I'm going to teach you now is one of my favorite exercises to learn strike. And basically it's this. I'm going to get, I'm going to preset almost the position from here to here. So we're going to teach you what you need to, what the body should be doing from this position to this position every single time. So I want you to uh, follow this process. So the first thing you do, you get yourself set up to the golf ball. Leading toe must be pointing slightly outwards. A lot of people miss that, they often have a square toe. Get the leading toe pointing outwards. Get your knee in line with that toe with about 80% of your weight on that left side. Now from this position, what you're going to do is you're going to make the move, you're going to swing back to about here, so your left arm now is round about parallel. You're going to get the maintain, you're going to get a bit of a wrist cock here, and the face of the club is definitely not open. You almost feel like the face is turned downwards to a level that's almost parallel to the spine. So it sounds quite complex, but it's not once you get into the habit of this. So this now is around about you're approaching impact, you want to from here start to work about what do you do from this position to strike the golf ball. If you can teach your body the feel of this, so eventually it knows what it should be doing through impact, you can then expand it into the full swing and then make striking so much easier. So let's go through it. Lead toe out, left knee, putting down the level of toe, weight on the left side, move back into this position here with the toe turned down. And all I want you to do now is simply this. All you need to do is you're going to turn your body, you're turning your body, and there's a gentle release of the club. You're going from here, turn your body, and a gentle release of the club. Let's have a look at this. So we get ourselves set into drill, set the drill up, turn the body, release the club. Simple as that, and we lead, that leads immediately to a ball turf contact. Now, for some of you out there, it won't, not to start off with. Sometimes when you do this, you won't get the strike straight away, and that's absolutely fine, because there's a couple of factors with this that you need to do. So when I give this to people here, it's a really great exercise to learn this quickly. So what happens is this, they can set the drill up, so the, left knee, the lead foot is pointing outwards, the, the weight's on the left, si uh, the left side, and the knee's going along with, uh, in line with the toe. They get this bit set up perfectly here, but then what tends to happen is they turn their body, but there's no natural release of the club. That's fine for now, right? Because at least you're educating one move. There's your turn of the body, but if you don't release the club, it can lead to shanks and it can lead to blocks to the right. 
That's fine initially, just when you're practicing, because we're not hitting this far, 30, 40, 50 yards max. What you've got to do is you've got to remember that there's a flow to this. So it's a turn and a gentle release. So it's a turn and a release. Look at how square the club is going through. So let's go through that again. So here we are. Left knee, pointing towards left toe, weight on left side, preset the drill. Now all you're going to do here is turn and release. Not just turn, not just release, it's a turn of the body and release. Okay, back, turn and release. And notice when I'm finishing, very short. I'm not going for big full swings. I want you to educate the body. The body needs something simple to work on. It needs to learn the correct feel. By doing this slowly and educating this, not putting it under pressure to hit beautifully long shots, it can learn the correct feel of how you create the ball turf contact. So let's have a look at it from this side. So we're getting ourselves set up, weight on the left side, 80%, knee pointing along the toe line, and all we're gonna do, let's preset this drill. Here, club slightly on the inside, face turned down so it's parallel. We don't want the face open. If it's open, it'll encourage the hands to roll. We don't want any roll of the hands. From here, all we're gonna do is turn the body and release the club. Turn the body, release the club. Nice and simple. Notice how short that's going. That's probably going for me about 75 yards. If you can't hit it that far from there, not a problem. This is not about distance. This is about teaching your body the feeling that's required through the impact area. Remember this, your body has no idea um, what, you, know, you can give it as many instructions as you like, but the best way of teaching your body is to give it feelings, images that it understands and, and can work with. Telling it to kind of keep your hands ahead, all that kind of stuff just doesn't work. These drills really, really work if you give them enough time, particularly on the range and in practice. Let's have a look at this again, but this time in slow motion. Okay, and it's as simple as that. Now remember, some of you out there are gonna find this a little bit tricky initially at times. Common problems that I see, as we said, one of the things that when, when people try this for the first time, and it's absolutely fine, you know, take your time pre-setting the drill, weight on the left side, get yourself set into, up in position. Lead arm here, club just in there, face turned downward slightly. From there, from this position here, a lot of people will turn and they just won't release the golf club. If they don't release the golf club here, what's going to happen? The face is aiming right, you could potentially shank it or block it to the right. Common things, don't worry too much about it. Some people might stand here, not turn at all, flash their hands at it. So this is why we do it small, so you can really take your time. You could do this indoors to start off, you don't have to hit any golf balls at all. But learning the feel of this, where your body's on top of the golf ball, your weight's on that left side, these are new, these will be new feelings for some of you. So take your time with it. Get yourself set up in position here, turn that toe down. From there, just simply turn and release the club. Back here, take your time, weight on the left side, turn and release that golf club. It gives a lovely, lovely sound. And it's so simple to do once you get going, but it really does educate the body. So in summary, what have we done? We said, in order to strike a golf ball, you need to strike the ball, then the ground. But in order to do this, you need to educate the muscles. The muscles hate language. They don't get, hate instructions. You need to teach the muscles in a very different form of language. You need to teach them with feel and visual exercises, which this drill does in abundance. So get it, get, take your time with it. Remember, weight on the left side, left knee or lead knee, pointing in line with the left toe, put 80% there. When you move the club back, your left arm isn't quite parallel, it's just below parallel here. It's, it's basically in the approach position, almost going, you're going to hit it from here. The, lead, the club is not open, it's parallel, almost parallel with the uh, spine angle here. All you're going to do is turn your body and release the club. For some of you who are struggling to release, do one of my earlier drills with you. You can combine two drills in one. What you could do is you could split the hands. You could get yourself set here, 
split the hands about two or three inches behind the hands and combine two drills in one here. You could get yourself set here and then you're still going to get the turn and the release in, but this helps you use more of the release in the lever in the club itself. So watch this. Set myself up, split hand, I'm going to rotate and release and it basically gets the club now working more like a lever here. You're not rolling the hands, you're simply turning and releasing at the same time and you'll get that lovely sense of what so many people like myself who've been practicing for a long time feel at the moment of impact. I hope you really enjoyed this training and if you do please share it with some of your friends who are struggling to strike their irons pure and of course look if you're enjoying the training and you want to receive it in your inbox every single week don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell but until next week have a great golfing week.